my name is Sam, I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the single column marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the single column marquee tool is to select a single column of pixels of a layer in Photoshop. If you don't already have an image open, simply go to file, open, or hold control, and hit the letter O on your keyboard, and open an image from your hard drive. I'm using this picture taken in Moonbeam, Ontario, Canada. To find the tool, go to Window, Tools, and that will open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. It's in the top left hand corner and may be hiding behind the rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool. It's the one right at the bottom, the single column marquee tool. If it's hiding behind any of those, simply left click and select the single column marquee tool. Select your layer by going to the layers palette. If you don't have a layers palette, go to window, layers, or simply hit F7 and that will open up the layers palette or the layers window. Select your layer. Make sure the single column marquee tool is selected and click anywhere on your layer. You will see a line appear, which is called a marquee. And what that actually is, is a selection of one column of pixels in your layer. You can make that selection anywhere. And when you're happy with your selection, uh, you can do a variety of things, including uh, dragging it out to uh, make a neat effect. For instance, uh, let's go to the Move tool, which you can find in the top right-hand corner of the Tools palette, or by hitting V on your keyboard. When you do, you should see the Transform Controls appear. If you don't, go up here and make sure that Show Transform Controls is enabled, meaning make sure it's checked. When you get close to the image, you will see your uh, mouse turn into two arrows, and you should see two boxes in the middle of the line. Click, hold down, and drag that out, and you, can, and you can create quite a neat effect. When you're happy with that, you can press Control D on your keyboard. Make sure you apply the selection first, of course, or you can go to Select, Deselect and that will deselect that selection. So there is the single column marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.